Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Fences. So Fences is directed by Denzel Washington. The film is written by August Wilson, who also wrote the play for Fences. The film stars Denzel Washington and Viola Davis. And the story is about this African American man played by Denzel Washington who lives, you know, just a normal life in the 1950s of raising his family. But the problem is that he is an alcoholic and he's very abusive to his wife and his son due to a dark past that he has. So Fences is a film I was really, really excited for. I couldn't wait for this movie. The trailer, that one trailer where Denzel Washington was talking to his son about how he doesn't have to like him. Like, my God. Goodness, that was some powerful stuff right there. And that's something I was hoping going into Fences. And wow, this movie blew me away. This is a very well-directed film from Denzel Washington. He did such a terrific job of directing this film. And it is very well written from Austin Wilson because he not only wrote the screenplay for this film, but he also wrote the play for Fences, which I did hear is a very great play. And that's something I have to credit this film. And I don't mean it's in a bad way, but there were definitely some scenes where I was watching a play put on screen and I thought the way it would feel like a play in a film was actually very impressive and I know that's a very tough thing to do with the movie. The cinematography and fence is absolutely beautiful. Every shot honestly blew me away. I love the way that Fences was shot from beginning to end. It was just so beautiful. It's very well executed when it comes to the dramatic stuff like when we discover what Denzel Washington's dark past is because Yes, as the film starts off, you see him as this normal man that is trying to raise his family, take care of his family. But then you see him as this alcoholic and you see how poorly he treats his son and his wife. And then you find out about his past and you can actually get a sense of why he is the way he is because of the way he would tell his story of what he had to go through in life. You could actually get an understanding of why he is this way. Now granted, he shouldn't act this way towards his wife and his son, uh, but you could see why he acts the way he is because he obviously has been affected by a lot of things in his life. And I thought, uh, you know, thanks to August Wilson and Denzel Washington's incredible direction, that they were actually able to make you feel sympathy for a character that isn't exactly likable. And that's actually hard to do when a character is unlikable, but you could actually feel some kind of sympathy. Viola Davis, Denzel Washington, they give incredible performances. These are powerhouse performances from one of the best actors working today and one of the best actresses working today. These two gave it their all. And you get the chills just watching these performances. The actor that plays Denzel's younger son, I thought he was really good. I thought he was really great, honestly. Really terrific. And all the other performances from all the other characters, I honestly thought they were really great. I really liked Denzel's friend. I thought his friend actually had a lot of funny lines. He was very likable. You know, the friend that you would see tag along with Denzel a lot in the film. I actually really liked him. I liked Denzel's 34-year-old son. You don't see much of him, for, but for what you saw, I actually did really like him. It is a little over two hours long. It's like two hours and 13 minutes, I believe. But for the majority of the pacing, I was glued to the screen, honestly. Now, now, as far as problems do go with Fences, I will say that there are some pacing issues with the movie. I'm going to say specifically like the first 20 minutes. Uh, the first 20 minutes, I had a little bit of a hard time getting a full grasp on, but then after that, I started to get a full grasp of the kind of movie I was watching because certain scenes, like I said, they felt like a play. 
And so because it felt like a play, characters would stay in one specific scene for like, say for example, five whole minutes. And that's something I'll say, just a few scenes I felt like would drag on a little too long. And that's mainly in the first 20 minutes. I just felt like it kind of dragged a little too long. But then after that, despite the fact that other scenes were like five minutes long each or something like that, I wasn't really bored or feeling the pacing. I was really only invested. It really does come from the first 20 minutes and just like two or three more like in the middle. And I will say that I wish I could have seen a little more from the 34 year old son because I did really like him, but I just do think that we could have seen more from that character. And honestly, that's all I have to say about Fences, you guys. This is an incredible film. This is one of the best films of 2016. I was blown away by Fences. This movie is incredible. And this film is actually very unpredictable too, which is something I don't say about a lot of movies, but this is actually an unpredictable movie. I don't know where the film is going, especially where it led up to its ending. I thought the ending was terrific. I thought it was actually the perfect way to end Fences. I love that at times it felt like a play. It is well directed. It is well written. It is well acted. It's a very well made movie. It is hard to watch granted at times but it was so well made and it was so impactful that I just can't help but love this movie coming out. So I'm gonna give Fences three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Fences. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.